Well, social media, how you doing? This is Lindsey Huddleston here with Coach Lamonte Stone. We're down at the beautiful MGM Grand Casino in Detroit. We're here for the Horatio Williams Annual Coaches Forum, and uh, it's going to be a great lineup this evening. Uh, warn you in advance, it's going to be a packed house. Isn't that right, Coach? It's going to be an uh, exceptional uh, event with most of your, your local high school AAU coaches mm -hmm. come to see collegiate mm -hmm. coaches mm -hmm. give out some great advice. No, it's going to be good. It's good. You want to give a rundown of who's going to be here? This yeah, evening? Coach Andy, first of all, I'm calling Coach Andy. Um, Coach Andy, I mean, has it, done a phenomenal job mm -hmm. at Fair State. Mm -hmm. I mean, just won, just won the National Division II wow. Championship. Wow. I mean, to, to say you won a national championship at any level, right? you've done a remarkable Coach, job. Coach, you won it at the high school level. I won at the uh, high school level. But what is it like when you start getting to the collegiate level and, and having that championship run? You know, it, it, it speaks for not just you as a coach. Mm -hmm. It speaks for your character and how you run the program. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it's, it's more to, you know, running a, uh, being a coach, mm -hmm. particularly at the collegiate level, right. than coaching. Right. I mean, right. that's the least of problems. Because you got so many do. other things you got to yeah, deal exactly. with, I would imagine. You're yeah. dealing with the recruiting aspect of it. You're dealing with the uh, administration, mm -hmm. the social aspect of, of the community. You got to do some fundraising, uh, too, right? You got to do a ton of fundraising, particularly at Division two level. Right, um, right, and, right. And so, you know, he's done a phenomenal job, and he won't be at Ferris State, right. though. And I, if I remember correctly, that job just came open a few years ago, right? I think this probably is fourth year fourth year yeah, yeah that sounds about right he hasn't been there long wow I mean, he's, done a, phenomenal, he's done a phenomenal run. job yeah. okay we got coach andy who else we got on the uh, we got coach dante johnson i've been knowing dante um but you know he came up through ohio when i was at ohio state in bowling green so okay. i watched him climb okay I mean, he was the head coach at central state okay and done a phenomenal job at central state before he went out to alabama and took okay. a job at uh a division two school in alabama and now i mean he's really turned ground the state program right. around and in, a, in, in basically a year. Right, uh, in a year's time. In, in a and year's he's representing the HBC, the Historical Black exactly. College, which yeah. is great. Okay. And, you know, he's great for the young guys that are that are going to be here today. Mm -hmm. um, Why do you say that, Coach? Because he, he started at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He started at the bottom and worked his way up, and he didn't come up the traditional way. Mm -hmm. so he didn't come up as an assistant coach mm -hmm. for a D1 program, mm -hmm. such as Michigan, Michigan State, right. or University of Detroit here in town, right. and, and, and climb the ladder that way. Right. You know, it's he's, important he, you say that because so you're saying it's not always if you're not connected in that kind of fashion doesn't mean you can't make the process and, 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 and move up. Exactly. I mean, Central State, I mean, that, that was his first head right. job. Right, right. And, 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 you know, I tell the young guys, it's, it's, you know, if you're good, you're good at Central State or Michigan State. Mm, you know, it okay. doesn't, it, it, that doesn't okay. matter. Because one of yeah. our last speakers last year uh, went from Tennessee State. Now he's at Missouri State yeah. within yeah. that amount of yeah. time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. happy like that. Who yeah. else we got, Coach? And then we have uh, Todd Kowalczyk, uh, who's at Toledo. Okay. Todd's a veteran in the in the business. Uh, did a phenomenal job at Green Bay mm -hmm. for a number of years before he got the Toledo job. And mm -hmm. um, he's been a mainstay in, at, at, at the top of the MAC uh, right. standing for the most of the Right, years. yeah, Toledo has a lot of attention lately and what's been happening in the, in the past few seasons with them. Yeah. So yeah. like a destination yeah. for a lot yeah. of people. And you know what is, is Toledo's only a Scott, uh, a Scott Hip and a, yeah, you know, right there. Right right there. Toledo. So he comes in and recruits a lot of. Uh, so he's in the Metro uh, Detroit area. A lot. Metro, uh, one of his best players um, graduated last year from Southfield. Uh, escaped my name right okay. now, but okay. it, um, he does a great job recruiting okay. this area. So he's here. So we got to yeah, watch yeah, for Toledo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a few more folks we got going to be here tonight too. And then Conzo. Conzo. I mean, I've been knowing Conzo. Conzo was assistant at Purdue when I was assistant at Ohio State. Oh, you guys were so, right, right uh, close to each other. Yeah, yeah. We we're close to each other, and then to watch Conzo. Uh, career, mm -hmm. you know, ascend the way that it so has. So was it California, Tennessee, and now Missouri? And now and Missouri. They're yeah, probably yeah. going to have a, a top draft pick coming yeah, out have with Porter. Yeah, he'll definitely have a top draft pick with Porter. I think he's going to talk about that I'm sure. tonight, how to, you know, because a lot of people think it's easy mm -hmm. coaching kids of that mm -hmm. of that magnitude. Yeah. But really it's tougher Sure, coaching sure. those type of kids. How because, so, coach? Because they're, they're, they're you know, they're a little more demanding, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, they're a little bit more, you know, they know who they are. Sure. And, sure. and, and, you know, a lot of them, you know, I'm not going to stereotype and paint the brush, but a lot of them take, don't take the coaching well because they've been the best player. They've been the talent That's all I've known. since they've been a teenager. So, you know, so take a, a special college. kind of coach. Yeah, yeah, take, a, that. take a real special okay. coach, yeah. So that, that's one coach that has a, a potential high lottery pick. Is mm -hmm. anybody else that we expect to see this season? Yeah, season? and then hopefully we'll see Tom Izzo. I okay. hear he's, uh, he's in he's in route. Um, Pose a land at 530 at Metro Airport, and he's, okay. he's rushing right over here. And, I mean, I think this crowd, uh, you know, 
they're anxious to Absolutely. to hear what Coach Izzo has to has to say. Um, you know, he has two lottery picks. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. With, 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 at with, least uh, we can at, say at least two. Yeah, with Jackson and and Bridges, mm-hmm. and then I think he he'll talk about this season as a whole, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. the ups and downs, the ex- expectations that mm-hmm. were placed on the team this year, and and whether or not they met those expectations. Sure, um, sure. So it, it'll be um, – this is going to be a great It's going to be great, and it'll be interesting staying on the top of, of Coach Izzo if he does come tonight. And we only, we're not saying that he's not, mm-hmm. but it, him being here is going to be used. That's going to be one of his first public events since the end of the tournament, yeah, if I'm saying yeah, that correctly, yeah, that yeah, we know of. Yep, yeah, yeah. and, and that's Coach Izzo. I mean, I think he's um, – he understands. He's, he's, he's a veteran in our business. Mm-hmm. So he understands, like we talked about, it's more than just coaching more than just the coaching. Michigan State basketball right. program. I right. mean, this is a part of it as well. Right, right. Well, you heard it here, guys. It's early in the evening. Uh, we suggest that you get on down here to the MGM Grand, 1773 3rd uh, Avenue, Detroit. But you know where the lion is. You know yeah. how to get here. And I yeah. probably want to leave your wallet in the car because you come <laughs> down here and get to hanging out downstairs too long, that'd be a problem. But uh, we're uh, suggesting a $10 donation. And to keep in mind, the donations keeps the doors open and provides all these great programs. Anything else you want to share, Coach, before? No, just say, hey, come, come, come. This is a special night. I mean, for $10 to get, you know, coaches of this magnitude. Mm -hmm. I mean, I spend $10 going to the gas station just getting snacks for my kids. Easy, Um, easy. So, I mean, if you're, you're, I don't care what level coach you are, Mm -hmm. middle school, high school, Mm -hmm. AAU, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, backyard coaching, Mm -hmm. your sons Mm -hmm. and daughters. Mm -hmm. Come get a little knowledge. Come get some knowledge. Come That's get it. some knowledge. That's it. We'll be here. We hope we can see you. If not, we'll be streaming as much as we can. Coach Lamonte Stone, Lindsay Ellison with Sports Psychology Solutions at the Horatio Williams Foundation uh, Annual Coaches Forum. And tomorrow uh, we have the second chance game. Yeah. Uh, so yep, if yep. you have some players who haven't uh, made the cut and they want to get an opportunity to get some uh, good looks from some coaches, there's an opportunity with that too. And then also that's that's good. Uh, coach Kaufman, who's mm-hmm. the head coach at IPFW in mm-hmm. Fort Wayne, mm-hmm. We'll be here tomorrow mm-hmm. doing a, a, a clinic a on floor, on the wow, floor a huge, clinic. I mean, huge. so so I mean, this is a great. This is I mean, Horatio Williams is is, is doing uh doing from uh doing great wonders mm-hmm. uh, in our community. He is, um, and and this is a way you come to support. Him. Right. Well, you got it. Well, you're gonna see our face some more tonight. Uh, get on down here if you can, and if not, you can uh, live stream and just support the Horatio Williams Foundation. Thank you, and we'll see you guys in a minute. Yep. All right. Great.